What's up, boys? Today we're gonna be doing a player review on this new Babu card, 88 rated. What promo is it? For birthday. Come on. And this card, honestly, I just have to say this right off the rip. He is the one of the best value cards I've used this game. He's like 30k. For 30k, you get an insanely fast insanely responsive striker with five-star weak foot who can finish like it's nobody's business. His passing may not be good, but you play this man as a solo striker with a decent cam behind him, he will do bits. He was insane. I used him for my last 10, 10-ish games of foot champs, and he was so much fun. I had an absolute blast playing the games. I would just get in the box and I would do a little left stick and it, every, I, I didn't even know what foot he was at half the time because either, you could go either way. I didn't, I didn't even know if he was right footed. I would just hit it on his left, his right, every which way you like. They were going top bins, all sorts. And I think the price point is definitely driven by the fact that he isn't really, he's not a, a linkable player in the sense that he's French, he's Prem, he's from Ligue you know, he's Bundesliga and he is from, what country is that? I honestly don't know. Toga. He is from Toga. He is from the Bundesliga, and it's not a, a very strong linkable, if that is, if that is even a word, li uh, club in the Bundesliga. It is not one that you have like Bayern Munich, uh, Dortmund, where you have a lot of strong links and you can get Kem really easily. He is six foot, which is weird because I felt like he was like 5'10", 5'9", in game. He felt super agile, and that, that make, that's actually a good, a good thing. I thought that he was shorter than he actually was because... He can both win headers now that he's actually six foot, and he was responsive enough at six at six foot that he felt like he was a shorter player. Shorter players are really good this year for left stick dribbling, especially ones with four star or five star skills. Looking at the in game stats, partially why I think this card is so good is there, there's a couple things. But first off the rip is the 98 acceleration. When a player has that high acceleration, it, they just feel different. They just feel different. And what's incredible about this card is he's got 96 pace, but he has 98 acceleration and 95 sprint speed. So the numbers don't add up to 96. So it, that's, it's very weird. But it, it's, it's higher than 96. That, that's what I'm saying. And then attacking-wise, he's got great attack position. This guy was... All, that's what I noticed. He was always in the right spot. He was making good runs both through, through on goal just to get pure pace in behind, but also checking too, creating good combinations with both the cam and the wide players. More with the cam than less with the wide players because he was playing as a solo striker, but he still was able to complete the passes, stuff like that. Taking a look at the passing now, he's got 85 long passing, uh, 85 short passing, excuse me, and 69 long passing. So the long passing is definitely an issue in the, in the stats, obviously, but in game, I didn't really feel it, but I'm also not passing that much with my strikers because I am playing a one striker formation. If you're playing a 4-4-2, something like that, maybe this guy isn't the best passer of the ball, but I think his other benefits, his pros of dribbling, speed, shooting, all sorts, and weak foot set him apart, especially for the value. You're going to get an insane value player. And also when you buy players for this kind of value for such cheap coins that it just makes them better in game because you have you don't have expectations. You're not like you didn't drop 300k and you know you're gonna lose on tax. You didn't drop a mil. You know you're automatically gonna get 900k back even if you sell them at the same price you bought them for. You bought them for 30k. That is less than most people make make in foot in a foot champs rewards just from the coins alone. No less the packs that they get. So to have this card, if you have them untradeable, I would recommend even if you don't start him i know a lot of you don't run bundesliga sides but i know you rats have icons because you're addicted to icon packs just like me but <laughs> but put him put him on the bench put him on the bench bring him in second half late in the game super sub vibes because there's nothing scarier than a super sub with 98 98 acceleration and 93 agility and five star weak foot that is just scary and speaking of the agility stats let's take a look at the dribbling right now he's got 93 agility like i just said 83 balance but i didn't really feel the balance too much i don't really feel like he got knocked off the ball super easy he's got good reactions which is always a good thing for for cards and ball control is good and so is the base dribbling stat at 92 his composure is 82 which honestly is a bit shocking because he was so composed in front of goal he made a lot of really tough chances converting um off balance sometimes sometimes doing a my favorite thing to do with this guy was uh first time fake shot in the box heel to heels uh burba spins stuff like that croquetas for not a lot of croquetas but some croquetas and he was he was hitting these shots really well he scored a couple long shots as well and definitely would think the composure would be higher didn't look at the stats before i just wanted to get a unbiased opinion of the card and also the shot power is good on this card 86 very important stat this year's shot power is. And if you take a look at the heading accuracy, 
he, he is an aerial threat. He is fast. There's very few players that are both fast, that feel short, and are super agile, but can still head the ball. He's six foot. That's tall enough. Marquinhos is six foot. He's one of the best center backs in this game. Koza is one of the best center backs in this game. He is 5'10". A lot of people use short center backs this year just because heading is a me heading's not super meta, but heading is definitely more more usable, more impactful than it has been in, say, FIFA 20 and FIFA 21. Uh, his stamina is very good, 86. Strength, once again, it will definitely help with the heading. It helps with the, the... I think it helps with the skill moves just a little bit. More more of the skill moves, like the first time fake shot, the heel to heel, definitely the heel to heel. If you're going in between two center backs, strength is definitely a big deal. Um, just if you if you bump them a little, the, if players, I think, with like 60 sub, sub 60 strength, I feel like get bumped off the ball either or are 5'8 and below, something like that. And looking at his player traits, he has speed dribbler, which... It's a bit shocking he doesn't have more player traits because he was absolutely just ripping shots in game. It was insane. He was doing so well. I was so pleased with this card. I honestly didn't have big expectations because honestly, if I saw this card come out, and I'm usually a pretty optimistic person, I was gonna I would say this card is super good, it's gonna be incredible, which it is, but that one I would I didn't think that this time because his card in FIFA 21, he had a road to the finals, if you don't remember. People just didn't like it was really bad. It, it didn't shoot the shooting was really bad And I remember he had like similar shooting sets to this it looked good on the card But in game it wasn't very good I I'm here to tell you that this is nothing like his his road to the finals or yeah His, his road to the finals from FIFA 21 this card is it's here and he is a, he is a bad man He is gonna finish everything you put on this plate He is an absolute demon at the striker position I think you could even play him out wide because he is so fast and he is so agile. I think he's more suited for uh, striker position or something centrally. I feel like he's wasted a bit out wide, but if you're running a budget squad RTG something like that I know a lot of you guys have super good teams, but even if you don't just What's 30k? What's 30k? You guys you guys waste 30k all the time You're gonna buy some fodder tomorrow do an icon pack spend like 200k buy this guy for 30k Just try him out the point of these promos is to have players to try out to switch up the teams and really just just vibe in the game Try ever since I started trying new players trying pretty much all the players in pretty much most promos except for like the super expensive ones because you know man, man doesn't got coins like that it's made the game so much more fun and i definitely recommend you guys do the same but that's gonna do it for the player review i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe